Welcome to homework. To calculate the p-value for this hypothesis test, we use the binomial distribution. The null hypothesis is that at least 95% of the equipment conforms to specifications. Uh, which means that P, the proportion of equipment that conforms, is greater than or equal to 0.95. The alternative hypothesis would be P is less than 0.95. The sample size is 200, and the observed number of, uh, of faulty equipment is 8, and we can calculate the sample proportion as the 200 minus 8 or 192 out of the 200 is 0.96 and now we want to test whether um, this is significantly less so our um, standard error here because, which we're going to have to find because we want to test whether this is significantly less than 0.95. Um, so the standard error is the square root of p times 1 minus p over n, and that's going to be the square root of 0.95 times 1 minus 0.95 over 200, which is 0 0.0154. And we can calculate a z-score and that will be 0.96 minus 0.95 over 0.0154 which is 0.649. And to find the p-value from a z-score, you can go to the z-distribution table or p-value calculator, but it would be one tail and the p-value would be 0 0.2582. which would um, allow us to not reject, we would not reject the null hypothesis. There is not sufficient evidence, which could then mean that the manufacturer's claim is correct.